How are we doing guys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode of Tom Dyer's Flair Bartending Tips. Now today's a bit of a different episode. I'm going to be talking to you about the 10 things that you need to start doing for you to become the best. Whether you're just flaring behind your bar, whether you're doing a competition, or whether you're doing it for fun, for you to become the best that you can actually be, these are 10 tips and hacks that you can start doing to help that out. Okay, tip number one is not that kind of sacrifice, but you do need to sacrifice. You need to sacrifice your time to put it into practice so that you can get better at what you're doing. This is with anything that you do in your life, whether it's gymnastics, volleyball, skateboarding, whatever, with flair and with bartending in general, you need to sacrifice your time so you can get better at what you're doing. The more time you spend on it, the better you're gonna get. All right, tip number two is try and practice alone. It doesn't mean you always practice alone, but if you're always practicing with other people, you're always gonna get distracted, then they're gonna take your focus away from what you need to be doing. So when you're practicing alone, you just focus on what you need to do, your routine, your moves, your ideas, and then you don't have any kind of influence from outside sources. So then all these ideas and everything that you do comes from you, from you within. Now, as I said, don't always try and be alone. Don't always try and practice alone, but um, it's always good to, to, to play games with other people, to flare with other people sometimes, but when you're pra practicing your routine and you're focusing on what you need to do, make sure you have a space that you can train alone. And if you don't have a space to train alone, then you're in a, a club or a room with other people, then just put your headphones in and focus on your routine and your flare. Don't try and uh, look at what other people are doing, focus on your stuff, yeah? Okay, tip number three is always write down your ideas when they come into your brain. Now, this could be at any point of time in your life, maybe while you're at work, perhaps it could be whilst you're sleeping. Sometimes if you're fast asleep, you can wake up, think of a move, maybe you dream of a move. So as soon as you wake up, get your book. I've got an ideas book right here. Thank you, Dan Mays, for the suggestion. Uh, and uh, write down your ideas straight away, otherwise you may forget. If you don't have a book, you can always write them in your phone. That works as well. But make sure you write down your ideas because you may forget them in the, uh, in the future. And you may not have a bottle and a tin or, or flare equipment around for you to be able to practice that move. So write down your ideas. Make sure you write them down. Get yourself a book and write down your ideas. Okay, the next tip, tip number four, is compete. Now, some of you don't like to do competitions, I know, I'm sure of it, but what competition does, it helps you learn very, very, very fast, very, very quickly, especially if you're a flair bartender and you wanna compete more, don't wait to do a competition and wait for that perfect routine, but compete so you can get the feeling of what it's like to compete on and flair and bartend in front of other people. Whether it's mixology, whether it's flair bartending, whatever it is, if you compete, you basically put yourself in under pressure and under a bit of stress and it really show, shows you a, a lot about yourself and what you know and what you, what you don't know perhaps. Um, I'm gonna do a full video on this another time but competition is healthy and helps you improve a hell of a lot. Anybody that's competed before will say a competition is like three, four, five, six months in the practice room um, in, in one competition because you learn a hell of a lot, you meet a lot of people, you get inspired, you get motivated to do more and practice more, so compete and get better at competing. So to give you another rough idea, I think I probably did 300 to 350 competitions in my life and uh, you know it, it definitely helped me improve my flair, it helped motivate me and uh, it helped me get better. So tip number five, that's Cinco in other languages, is listen to advice or don't be afraid to ask for help. Now, obviously you've got to make sure this advice or help comes from a reputable source. Don't just listen to everybody's advice, but if somebody's giving you some good advice, listen to it, write it down in your book, okay, and try and practice that advice, okay? If life gives you lemons, squeeze the juice into a water gun and shoot other people in the eyes. Don't eat yellow snow. Don't use a chocolate teapot. If you love someone, let them go. If you hate someone, let them go. Basically, let everyone go because people are stupid. <laughs>
Tip number six, eat, sleep, flare, repeat. 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 Step. Okay, tip number seven is put yourself out there. <clears throat> okay, what I mean by that is put yourself out there into the flair world, into the bartending world, get involved in competitions, get involved in events. Go and watch competitions if you're not competing, go and meet other people, uh, get your name out there, speak to people, network, make friends, travel, and basically be a part of the community. Don't be stuck in your practice room just practicing moves. You need to be a part of the community, and the more you become a part of the community, the more people will recognize your face, recognize your name, and the more work you'll get, and the bigger your profile will build up. All right, tip number eight is make sure you're a bartender first and a flare bartender second. It's very important that if you are learning to flare and you're throwing bottles around, what differentiates you from being a juggler and being a flare bartender is making a drink. Not to say that flare bartending isn't a form of juggling, but if you want to be known as a flare bartender, you need to make sure you're making a drink. So make sure you're learning cocktails, make sure you're tending on a bar, make sure you're getting bartending experience, and basically be a bartender first, okay? It was the best advice I was given when I started out, because I was focused so much on flaring that I didn't know how to make a drink, I didn't know how to serve guests, I didn't know how to bartend. Somebody told me, be a bartender first and be a flare bartender second. Very, very important. Okay, tip number nine is always try and be humble. Now, you are not the first flair bartender in the world to land a big move or to do well on stage or to win a competition. So remember that there has been thousands of other bartenders before you and there'll be thousands of other bartenders after you. Making sure you're humble and you're not just focusing on yourself and talking about yourself all the time will definitely help you to progress. It'll help you uh, to listen more to other people, to soak in that advice that other people are going to give to you and it'll just help you get farther further more quickly if you're arrogant and you think you know within all the time it's going to be much more of a struggle and you're going to get frustrated and you're going to get stressed be humble with what you're doing um, and, and make sure that you know you're not being that arrogant bartender okay tenth and final tip don't forget be original Thank you.